After an illustrious career highlighted by three grade one wins, Omaha Beach has retired to Spendthrift Farm. The Son of Warfront will lead this year's freshman class with a stud fee of $45,000. We spoke to Ned Toffee about Omaha Beach and his credentials as a sire. Omaha Beach has settled in beautifully. This is um, a really, really intelligent horse. This is something that we'd heard uh, all year long from Richard Mandela, uh, and the horses uh, just couldn't have done any better. Um, we got him off the van, and he uh, went right into a stall and, and immediately relaxed. We showed him to breeders and to the press the next morning, and uh, he stood up like a pro. He's, he, I don't think we've ever had a horse settle in this well. Breeders have absolutely loved this horse. Uh, one of the things that, that really stands out about him is his demeanor, his big, beautiful, intelligent eye, and that intelligence just comes through when he's up on the show ring and standing up. Confirmationally, this is a gorgeous animal. Uh, he's got a little bit more size than is typical of some of the war fronts. He stands at 16'2", and has plenty of scope to go with it. Uh, great big shoulder, tremendous hind quarters. Uh, really just a beautifully made horse. He's on course to start breeding February 15th right now, uh, which is historically the start of breeding season. It's about five days after our shed opens. Um, uh, all the reports have been very good. We're just trying to be as careful as we can with him. Uh, there's been no swelling uh, and very little, if any, lameness at all. Uh, he's he's uh, going out in a pen. Um, and being hand walked. We're gonna do that for a little bit longer. When the weather clears, we're gonna start to get him out in a paddock. Uh, if we see no setback at that point, after about a week of doing that, we'll uh, begin to start the process of test breeding uh, and, and try to move forward from there. And as long as there's no setbacks, uh, and I don't foresee any, um, we should be in good shape to start on schedule. I think the combination of a little bit of a slant of turf with Warfront, but very much a, a classic dirt female family with Take Charge Lady out of a Seek in the Gold Mare. Uh, you know, this is, this is about as good as pedigrees get. Omaha Beach's versatility as a racehorse is really something we haven't seen very much of in recent years. To, to win sprinting and, and to win stretching out to a mile and an eighth just speaks to this horse's just inherent ability. And I think that's one of the things that you really want to see with a stallion. Uh, doesn't matter what they ask him to do when they line up, he's able to do it. For me, the Santa Anita uh, Sprint Championship really stands out because we already knew that he was a router. He could run a mile and eighth, and we were pretty confident that he would handle a mile and a quarter. But to see him roll back and out sprint one of the best sprinters in the country uh, really stamped him as something special. Certainly, we would have loved to have seen uh, a, a few more races throughout his career, but uh, you know, I think it's a credit to Richard Mandela that he's chosen to put the horse first throughout all of this, and, and we're, it's, it's in everybody's interest to take good care of the horse. <laughs>